Uh, there are things to report from the terraces at Stamford Bridge, I'm afraid. There's been crowd trouble there uh, after the match today. Uh, Chelsea are relegated. Middlesbrough go up. Uh, they won 2-1 in aggregate overall. Uh, that's confirmation of it. Chelsea won 1-0 on the day, but they go down to the second division. Uh, a good win for Bristol City at Warsaw today gives them a 3-3 aggregate. Warsaw won the penalty shootout uh, to hold the, uh, the uh, replay on Monday on their home ground at Fellows Park. And uh, Swansea, they've gone up to Division 3, 5-4 on aggregate, having drawn 3-3 today. Well, now, Chelsea scored pretty early in the match today against Middlesbrough, and the Omens were good at that point. Have a look at it. Monster's little pass through, Dixon's touch. And Wilson to Nevin. Nevin's chip. Dury! That has opened it up. Now we really have got a playoff on our hands. Nevin has always looked dangerous taking men on. Pulls back the cross. First time from Dury. And fair stranded. Well, that was a good goal. Uh, Jerry Sinstat still at Stamford Bridge. The crowd moving away now, but there has been some crowd trouble there, Jerry, hasn't there? Yes, Desmond. I'm afraid Chelsea went out of the first division with more credit and dignity than their fans. Players had no sooner left the pitch than the hoodlums attempted to take over. Uh, the invasion started from the Chelsea shed end, and it was contained and turned back by a very calm response from a small body of policemen. But that precipitated the kind of things you're seeing here. This was about 10 or 15 minutes ago. Senseless, naked hatred that continues to stay in English football. Missiles thrown, a policeman carried off on a stretcher, bloodstained spectator taken away by ambulance, and a number of arrests. So sad scenes there. Uh, this was earlier on, I take this it. This was and... earlier on, yes. This was, in fact, the crowd invasion that was very well contained by the police who avoided confrontation didn't come rushing on held the police horses back and just a dozen men on foot calmly walked on and turned them back but it was after that that the trouble started on the terraces once the uh, spectators had been cleared from the pitch we better switch to some thoughts on the game itself uh, Jerry what, what sort of match was it in the end well it was really a very good match Desmond uh, Chelsea did everything they could possibly have done I think they played with a great deal of confidence and control at the back they restricted Middlesbrough to only three or four shots on target Joe McLaughlin was outstanding and after Dury had scored the goal that you showed in the 19th minute it did look as though they might be able to pinch the second and take it to another game but Middlesbrough for their part played I thought very calmly Pallister and Mowbray, very sensible, the middle of the defence. And they didn't get sucked into helter-skelter football. They just kept their shape, kept their discipline, and in the end, kept their nerve. Thanks, Jerry. And the Middlesbrough fans clearly still there inside the Stamford Bridge ground. So, Middlesbrough go up, Chelsea go down.